my name is Kat, and today I'm talking about June releases and my TBR for the month. So let's get right into the top five new releases of June that I personally am most looking forward to. So first up, I have here More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, and this is out on June 2nd. This is a debut novel, and from what I hear, it mostly has a contemporary feel, but there are some sci-fi elements. It's about a 16-year-old boy who's had some tough things happen to him in his past and now he's dealing with these feelings for another boy that he doesn't want. So what he wants is to undergo this memory alteration procedure to just forget a whole bunch of stuff. I've heard this pitched as kind of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind meets Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Those are some mouthful titles. Also, this book has already gotten just a slew of starred reviews from professional reviewers, and that is usually a very good indication of quality. Next up, I have here Hello, I Love You by Katie M. Stout, and this is out on June 9th. This is another debut novel. It's a contemporary standalone, I believe, and it sounds like it was meant for me. It's about a girl who escapes to this boarding school in South Korea and she falls for a K-pop idol. So it sounds kind of like Anna and the French Kiss, but instead of Paris and film, it's Seoul and K-pop and I wish this was my life. I'm really excited for this one, and I really hope it lives up to my expectations because I really want to love this book. Then I have here Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, and this is also out on June 9th. This is the sequel to The Queen of the Tearling, which I just recently read, and I'm really looking forward to continuing the series. I can't talk too much about the synopsis because it is a sequel, but basically we're following this young woman named Kelsey who is coming into power as the queen and she has a lot of conflicts to deal with. She's just trying to be a good ruler for her people and deal with this brewing war and there's betrayal and politics and magic. Now that we've gotten a lot of the establishment of the world and conflicts taken care of in that first book, I'm just really looking forward to seeing where this series goes. Then I have here every Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone, and this is out on June 16th. I've actually already received an arc of this book from Disney Hyperion, who is helping to sponsor this video. They also sent me this cute little notebook and a magnetic poetry kit, because poetry plays an important role in this book. Every Last Word is a contemporary standalone about a girl named Sam who has OCD, and just navigating her daily life is a struggle. Especially because nobody knows about her OCD, and she's part of the popular crowd at school, and one wrong move could just ruin her socially. But then she meets Caroline, who would so not fit in with the popular girls, but Sam really likes her, and really likes Caroline's group of sort of misfit, poetry-loving friends. Sam really likes spending time with them, and she's starting to feel normal, but then something happens that makes her question her sanity and just everything she cares about. This one sounds really interesting, and I've heard that the writing is great and it handles the mental issues very well, so I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a read. And finally, I have here The Leveler by Julia Durango, and this is out on June 23rd. This is the first book in a new sci-fi series, and the the premise sounds super fun. It's about a girl named Nixie, who is essentially a bounty hunter in this virtual reality world. Parents will hire her to go into the virtual reality, find their kids, and drag them back to the real world. But then she gets a mission that is not so straightforward. The son of the game's developer has gone missing, and he's not so much hiding as he has been captured against his will. So Nixie has to track him down, and then the two of them need to fight their way out of the game and figure out what is going on. I'm getting some Ready Player One Sword Art Online vibes, and it sounds cool. I really hope it is cool. I want to check this out. Alright, those are the five new 
new releases of June that I'm most looking forward to. As for the rest of my TBR, I'm leaving it pretty open, but there are two books that I will definitely be reading. First is the Booksplosion Book of the Month pick for June, which is off the Page by Jody Picoult and her daughter Samantha Van Leer. This month we're working with Random House, so they sent me this advanced reader copy, though the actual book did just come out at the end of May. This is like one of the nicest arcs I've ever had. Like it feels very smooth and nice, and there's colored pictures, and the text is colored as well. This is a quality arc, and I bet the hardcover is even more beautiful. This is actually a companion novel to Between the lines, and it can be read as either a standalone or a sequel. It's about a girl who is reunited with this prince who's been literally taken from the pages of a fairy tale, which sounds really cute, and like I can only imagine the hijinks and hilarious complications that will ensue. I've actually never read a Jodi Picoult novel, but I've always wanted to, and this one sounds like something I'm gonna really enjoy. Like, who doesn't want? to pull their favorite character out of a book to have and to hold IRL. Cough, William Herondale, cough. Anyways, I will go ahead and put all of the read-along info down in the description in case you're interested in joining us. The live show is taking place on Wednesday, Wednesday, July 2nd, because of 4th of July weekend, so that is your read-by date if you would like to attend. And the other book I will definitely be reading this month is the book for my TBR Joy Challenge! And I don't know what it is yet, so let's find out! Ha! Ha! Shake it up, shake it up, whoa, oh! Here we go, here we go, ha! <laughs> I want one from like the bottom. They're all unfolded and just a mess up in here. Okay, this is the one I chose. Ooh, interesting. Can you see it? Can you see it? So my challenge for this month is to read a book that's not a novel. So I'm gonna be reading like a nonfiction book or a collection of short stories or maybe a graphic novel or a comic collection, something like that. I like this challenge. I think it'll be fun to read a non-novel this month. Alright, I think that is actually going to be it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night and I will have another video up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye! This is the second book in the Queen of the Trilogy. Nope. And finally, I have here The Leveler by... Nah. I actually already have an arc here that is going to mess up my white balance. Off the page by... Da -da -da. Is that how you say Picoult? Picoult.